Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Tidwell Taste Tour. Thanks for joining us. Now, if you can find one of these, which, good luck, uh, because, well, I don't know. It's another St. Arnold product. Oh, okay. So if you're in Houston and can find one of these, go for it. If not, you can. No worries. It's their version um, of Revolto. So this is also from the St. Arnold Brewing. This is the, the sh I got three brews brought back to me. This is the final one. Both of the other ones have not been disappointments at all. So this is the St. Arnold Brewing Company from Houston, Texas. This is their Santo handcrafted beer. Uh, it states here, nice. brewed and bottled by Houston, in Houston, Texas. And that's it. Twist that shit, bitch. It is a it's twist. Nice. It a twist? Yeah. Give me that shit. Oh yeah, use the shirt. That's how it's meant to do. It's just, it, that's how you do it. Like, the shirt just grabs it. I don't know. It just looks cool. What is it supposed to be? I don't Look know. Look it up on that website. It doesn't Look it up. Yeah, look it up. That's it's what, St. Arnold? Yeah, yeah it's, it's the uh, Santo. Santo. S-A-N-T-O. Okay. But it's not the barrel series, right? No. Hmm. It's totally like a normal beer no. smell, sort of. Tip. Maybe it's a porter. I, no, I, find it funny, porter. I find it funny on the bottles. They just give you basically nothing. No. They're just kind of like, fuck you. I have terrible drink service, it. so it's taking uh, a while. Black coal, she says. Black coal? Oh, that's good. Ooh, I like Ooh, that. that's interesting. Yeah. That's nice. See, you yeah. should have gone oh. home with me. Oh, that's now. better. That's different. Okay, so it's got it that says, black lager. You yeah. told me 10 hours before you flew out that you were leaving. I'm okay, sorry. well, next time we'll <laughs> yeah. go. Because we'll I had, I had a total. Mm -hmm. That sounds about right. I had a total of like eight beers I was gonna Alright, it says yeah. Santo is a black cold, That's which good. technically mm -hmm. doesn't exist as a style, but this is as close as we can come to describing it. Essentially, it is brewed using a Kolsch recipe with the addition of Munich and black malt. It is light bodied and floral yet with distinct dark malt flavor. Our goal was to create a dark yet refreshing beer that would Pair perfectly with a plate of enchiladas. Mm. That, that, th this is good. This is really good. It won a couple of awards. I would eat enchiladas. I could see eating this with like enchiladas or fajitas or something like that. Nachos. Or nachos. 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 As long as they lay on the cheese. In the World Cup, American style dark water. It's, 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 it's I mean, it's good. Yeah, it's it's bullshit when they don't layer the cheese on the nachos because then the whole bottom is cheese. You just yeah. got chips. You, you get just got chips. chips. Just tortilla chips now. And it's one thing. Maybe they give you a big side of guacamole. Now you can dip in guacamole. That's fine. But then it's extra. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's extra. Yeah, they, old road. They, they give you the guacamole. So even if one doesn't have cheese, which most of them did, you did the one that doesn't have cheese in the guacamole. Yeah. And it was good guacamole. You know, and it was on like eight ninety five. I think. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. Big plate. Big plate. It's that guy. This yeah. is good. So, anyways, this is there well with Mexican food. <laughs> no, it is. But this is it, it's it's weird because traditionally I didn't really like black lagers very much, and um, and not that this is specifically a black lager. Yeah, that's what it is. Traditionally, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call. It. Traditionally, if I like a black <laughs> beer, it's it, it's more I'm more like boring <laughs> stout. Daniel. See, now we can't post this because no. you're being an idiot. I was... You! You said malt liquor! No, I didn't. You made that up. Listen, how do you feel about I, this? I, I just know what's going to happen is when he's rendering these tomorrow, I'm going to get a text like, Review this before we <laughs> post it. Because I get that all the time. Viewers, just don't don't get it twisted. I get it all the time. Should well, we post see, this? And I always say yes. yes. All the time. You got it once. But we joke around. That's the thing. We joke around and some people might take what we're joking about seriously. So that's why I want to make sure I'm not offending anybody. I'm going to give this a seven and a half. I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it a, uh, I'm going to give it an eight for what it is. I, I really like it. It's, um, it's, you can get both different parts of it. You can get the light Kolsch Here's the thing, thing, but. I get the sense of like, almost like what the occulto was trying to do, but not even close. But the thing is, it's, way better. it's not sweet. And that's right. the different, that's the difference. But like, I can tell like there's like the, hint, the same kind of hints, but like a thousand times better. The issue like, that I got, the issue that I had, and I'm gonna get shit from even saying this, but occulto like wasn't even beer, and this yeah. is, yeah. is actual beer. Yeah. Um, this is what I wanted a culto to taste. Like. I wanted a culto to be yeah. an actual beer, and not just taste yeah. like malt, like like a malt beverage. Right. Um, I really like it. Yeah. I give it an eight and a half because I'm biased. 
Houston. Well, sure, it's from Houston. Not that much good from Houston, though. They kind of suck, you know? If you're watching from H-Town, I like you. Unless you're a What are you thinking? No, Aren't the so Astros sure Houston? Yep. Yes. Yeah, they stink, right? Yeah, they stink. They suck. <laughs> they stink, right? What are you going to give it? Um, I think it's pretty decent. I'll say... I'm seven and a half. The point that I make, and I think this is the, the the most, it's not one of those like the barrel series that's going to completely blow you away. But it's nice. But what it what it is, it, it's a unique take on both styles that it lists. That it, that, it, that is almost a mixture of the black lager and mm -hmm. the cold style. And it's. It's unique in that not only it does it, but it does it well, and you can actually get both styles within this beer. Mm -hmm. So it's it's good. It's um, yeah. I think that pretty much sums it up, right? Mm -hmm. All right. So. so we have an eight and a half, an eight, two seven and a half, two seven and a half. Okay. Yep. So this has been the St. Arnold Brewing Company from Houston, Texas. Is their Santo? No alcohol. What was the alcohol percentage? Four point oh, seven. Four point seven. Yeah. Four point seven percent. It's about right for a Kolsch. Doing this again on the taste store. We hope you will. And um, so keep clicking. Thank you.